My name is Marco Cantu, and this is a quick introduction to the Turbo Pack, a collection of classic components for RAD Studio XC7. This Turbo Pack is not really an organized collection, it's rather a loose collection. The goal here was to take some of the classic DeFi open source components, uh, components that have been used by a lot of developers um, in the early days of the product, but even recently, and make sure they got updated for XC7, cleaned of backward compatibility code, uh, if DEF, uh, Delphi 5, or something like that, and also leveraging new language and RTL features when these were useful. Now, the name comes from the fact that most of this originated from the Turbo Power third party company that at one point released all of its assets as uh, open source projects. There are several components in this pack. Some are VCL specific, like our Fuse, which is a collection of over 120 visual controls for uh, VCL. Uh, actually, there's some non-visual controls as well. Uh, there are lots of special purpose edit controls. There are grids, there are clocks, there are uh, dialogues, there are really a lot of components that can make your life easier and again make it much easier to migrate existing applications based on that set. Virtual tree view is the best and most efficient virtual tree view for Delphi um, and it's so commonly used that we even use it in the RAD Studio uh, IDE. It's been one of the most popular uh, components for uh, VCL developers. CineEdit is more of a niche component used for editing source code with syntax highlighting um, and several other features meant as a developer editor, not an uh, end user wise week editor like a rich edit. A Sync Professional is a comprehensive serial port communication library that was extremely popular at, at its time. Uh, serial port, modem connection, phones, um, but uh, it's still heavily used in industrial settings and industrial uh, communication layers. And finally, Power PDF is a component for creating, visually creating PDF documents. Uh, these are all components that are VCL specific, while a couple of other components can certainly be used for a VCL application, but also for mobile and Mac applications. And they, these include Abrevia, which is a compression library, supporting many formats, and Lockbox, which is a cryptography library, uh, also with many cryptographic algorithms. Uh, how you can get this Turbo Pack? Uh, there are project specific downloads. There is not like a single zip file or a single download because projects get updated separately. And so having a central unified location would have been much very convenient. Uh, there are new project repositories. Some are being merged back to the original project location. So it's still a little in flux and we are planning to make it easier to get these components in the future. Uh, so these are the actual locations for this uh, set of components and they are linked on, on a few web pages so they shouldn't be difficult to find. So now let's look at a couple of simple demos for these components and I'm going to do a short visual tree view demo and just have a glance to some of the uh, Orpheus controls. This is a minimal demo for the uh, tree view component. Actually the string tree. There is also a draw grid, uh, which hasn't got strings automatically. The component is virtual, meaning that the data is provided at runtime and not hard coded into the component itself. So what happens is that as the project starts, we set a node count and also the size of the data for each uh, element. And then for each node, uh, what the component will do is to call a specific event to initialize the actual uh, node. And what we do here is create a description that's based on the node uh, position and uh, level and index within the, the, the level. And there is also another event handler, which is absolutely critical, which is get text. Again, this is a virtual component, so the text is not part of a caption that's physically created. And so we need to provide the text for the uh, individual element, the cell text, whenever this is required. If we run the application, what happens is that we get the items 
uh, with the various elements we can uh, there is code to add a new node and there is code to add a child node and of course you can have a grandchild node uh, you can have multiple children at the same level you can create any assorted structure you can also create many components at once uh, at each level uh, and notice this is really extremely fast and performance so we can actually get bold and create thousands of components and that's it that's done um, consider doing the same operation with uh, the physical tree view in windows and this will take uh, really a lot of time um, the second demo i want to show you is a very simple demo of the orpheus components uh, this is a rather large collection of components. Uh, multiple pages are available. Um, lists, combo boxes, uh, edits, um, non-visual components, dialogues, and even uh, table structures, and uh, finally database-specific uh, data aware controls. Now here, this is a very simple demo. There is a clock. It has a bunch of settings. I'm just using some of these default ones. There is a custom meter, a very simple graphical control. There is an inspector grid, kind of like the object inspector, look and feel. Although there is a similar one in the VCL. And then there are two special purpose editing components one, uh, that I need to show at runtime. One is uh, tied to uh, displaying values that you can select from a selector underneath it. If we go to double, we can grab um, input mask, for example, uh, dollars with uh, tens of thousands and two decimal digits. And if we, if we run it, what we can see here is that we can type an amount and it gets the proper formatting and it's constrained to this uh, possible value. That's it. That's what I wanted to show for this short introduction to uh, TurboPack.